This tutorial is designed to serve several functions to help After Effects 7 users using Particle Illusion 3 to update my Creative Cal Master Series DVD Particle Illusion Fusion Volume 1 and to give After Effects users the knowledge of how to move data from After Effects 7 into After Effects 6.5 or lower. Hey, this is Aaron Rabinowitz for CreativeCow.net. For those of you using Particle Illusion and After Effects, if you've read the manual or you have my Creative Cow Master Series DVD Particle Illusion Fusion Volume 1, you know how easy it is to get position data from After Effects 6.5 or lower into Particle Illusion 3. However, when Adobe released After Effects 7, they changed the format for all the transformation data. Now the change is almost insignificant and you won't see any difference over the hood, but even a change of a single text character under the hood can really make a difference. So while it's very easy to use a simple copy command to copy keyframes from After Effects 6.5 and then to import them into Particle Illusion 3, if you try the same thing with After Effects 7, when you go to import it into Particle Illusion, it just won't work. Now, anyone using Particle Illusion 3 for OS X won't have this problem because that version was released after After Effects 7, and it was discovered as a problem during beta testing. However, for the Windows side of things, it's a problem, and I'll show you how to get around it now. It's really simple, and all it requires is a text editor. So let's quickly take a look at the data that you get when you copy keyframes from After Effects 6.5, and then paste it into a text editor. You'll see that the transform data, which are all of these XY coordinates here, have a header at the top which says position. However, in keyframe data copied from After Effects 7 using the same method, we see a slight difference. And that's this word right here that says transform, which has been placed right before the word position. Also, I should point out that up here it says After Effects 7.0 instead of After Effects 6.5. In this case, it doesn't really make a difference, but it can in other situations. Anyway, as you might have guessed, all we need to do is to delete this word transform, and then if we select all of the text and choose edit copy, we should now have usable information for Particle Illusion 3. So go into Particle Illusion 3, right click on the emitter in the hierarchy window, and from the dialog, choose import position data, and then choose the After Effects 6 clipboard option. As you can see, it works. I know that WonderTouch has a fix in the works, but for now, this is the way to do it. Now, on another note, as you probably know, it's easy to open files from After Effects 6.5 or lower in After Effects 7. But going the other way is a lot more difficult. In fact, there's no way to open an After Effects 7 file in an older version. However, if you've ever wanted to get animation keyframes, effects, or just data from After Effects 7 back into 6.5, you can. It's a pain, but you can do it using a similar method to what we just used with Particle Illusion. So here I am in After Effects 7 with a lens flare effect on a black solid layer that's moving around the comp window. Look, it ain't pretty, but it'll help us make the point. So if I copy all of the keyframe data by selecting all keyframes and any unkeyframe properties that I want, and then choose Edit, Copy, when I paste it into my text editor, I can see that I need to make a few changes. As we mentioned before, we want to get rid of the word transform, so I'll just take care of that. However, when transferring data between two versions of After Effects, we also need to make sure that this header here, the one that says After Effects 7.0 keyframe data, is changed to match the version of After Effects we're going into. Otherwise, After Effects will ignore all the data. I guess After Effects is a little bit more of a keyframe snob than Particle Illusion. So in this case, I'll change it to After Effects 6.5, and then, as before, I'll select all and then choose Edit Copy. Next, in After Effects 6.5, I'll select this solid layer and choose Edit Paste. If we hit U to reveal all keyframes, as you can see, the data and keyframes have all been added. One last note. When After Effects 7 was released, some of the effects were updated, and because of that, in some cases, new parameters or properties have been added into those effects. If you run into that problem, you'll need to figure out what those parameters are, and then remove them from the text as well. Otherwise, you'll get an error message that pops up when you try to bring that data into After Effects 6.5 or lower. Anyway, hope this helps you. If it did, then you won't mind that I'm about to make a shameless plug for my Creative Cow Master Series DVD, Particle Illusion Fusion Volume 1, in the form of a commercial. 
If it didn't help you in any way, and you just don't want to watch a commercial, then just hit stop. Ah, the power of technology. Once again, this is Aaron Rabinowitz for creativecow.net.